Latvia the cost of living in Latvia in today's video I'm going to compare hello. the cost hello how are you <laughs> great <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Bye -bye. so in today's video I'm going to compare the cost of things uh, right here in Latvia compared to France because I'm seeing some things that sometimes surprise me as I live in France most of the things I see here sometimes are more expensive than in France so let's see first of all I want a coffee and let us see the cost of coffee here So let me get the coffee and see how much it will cost me. So this is how it costs. Espresso is about two euro ten, and the big one is two euro seventy. Cappuccino three euro twenty. So it's kind of expensive, though we are right in the commercial center. So let's see how it goes. Because in some part of France. Uh, it's one euro to two euro but in the big cities like cities like paris can be three euro to four euro so in the same size and compared to latvia yeah it's almost the same hello how are you fine good i want uh, like a cappuccino yeah. okay you have coffee strong soft soft with milk. Uh. Yeah. Okay, uh, take one side? Uh, uh, just somewhere there. Yeah. Okay. 3 euro and 14 cents. 40 cents? Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, excuse me, what is the lowest, the, the lowest like amount we can be able to have a coffee in Riga? Uh, uh, right? The price? Yes. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I guess uh, maybe $2.50 for a small. $2.50? Yeah. So the lowest amount here you can get is $2.50, guys. $2.50. So, okay. $2.50. Thank you. So, let's see down somewhere because. The lowest amount you can get a coffee or a cappuccino here is about two euro fifty cents. And the city where I come from, I think maximum is two euro. I am not that a coffee type, but it is not as cost as here right here in Riga, uh, except maybe in some big cities and some big uh, business uh, all. It can be more expensive over there, but I. But also, I'm not sure it's going to be more than three euro. So, but yeah, look at the cappuccino I'm just taking. It is three euro forty cent. So, I'm ju I'm just going to try a coffee and also a fast food like kebab. Let's see how much it costs. I used to eat kebab sometime a lot in France, so I know pretty much how much it really costs. But the coffee, I'm not that coffee type, so I'm not really that sure. But let's find out. Kind of shouting with some Ukrainian family. Eh? I don't know. Plastic surgery. Okay, doctor. Oh, nice. I wish you all the best and you will achieve your dreams. You're welcome. So I think my coffee is ready. Okay. It's a movie. Uh, okay. You have uh, cinema, chocolate. Uh, cinema. Okay. It's okay. Thank you.
I think it's pretty big, but this one over here is three euro forty cent. I am making YouTube videos. You know YouTube? Yeah, I do travel vlogs. At the same time, make so also interviews with the locals. So now I'm like, I just want to compare the cost of living, uh, the cost of things, uh, Riga and Paris. Because I saw that Riga here, a coffee like this one is about uh, three euro ten, uh, three euro forty cent. In the city I live in France, I think maximum is two euros. So it's interesting. Italian. And here is how much? Two and a half. So maybe. I so you like the things are like up and down and uh, so I was kind of shocked because I know paying a, a, a cappuccino, a coffee for like more than three euro, it will be maybe in the big cities in France, not like in smaller cities. And also maybe in a big organization where there is big companies around this like a very uh, a touristic place, it can be up to four euro, three euro up. But yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, it's not that too much. But nowadays, unfortunately, in Estonia, the, the highest inflation rate in Europe mm. is around 10 percent. Yeah. So it's almost 20 percent. See, so I'm just like sh shouting with some Ukrainian family over here, sharing with me life over there in uh, Estonia. And uh, with a young man that wants to be a doctor, <laughs> He wants to be a doctor when he, uh, he grow, uh, become a man. When he become a man, he wants to be a doctor. A plastic surgery. A surgeon. So that is what he wants to be. And wonderful family. So I hope you guys are really having a great time in Estonia. And uh, we what hope... Eh? What languages do you speak English? Uh, France, French, languages I speak? I speak French, I speak English, I speak also Italian. Yes. How many languages do you speak? Three. Three. Russian, Ukrainian, and English. English. And now I'm in the process of learning Spanish. Oh, okay. So, language, so, so you are learning the language. Yeah. But as long as you are living there, I think, I think uh, maybe a few, few years from now, you can be able to speak very it's difficult. Yes. Wow. So it's kind of difficult. I think this uh, Eastern European countries language a little bit difficult. So this is it. Great shouting with the. Uh, Ukrainian family here yeah, sharing great uh, their experience back there in Estonia. They are on holidays here. Yeah. Uh, holidays? You are in holiday here? Yeah? Yes. Uh, so it's good. It's good. And I hope very soon the problem back in uh, Ukraine and Russia will stop very soon. I hope that we, yeah, the world leaders should, they should handle the issues in a different way than killing ourselves. So. You're welcome. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. So they are going very friendly, open, great people from Ukraine. So I just finished my cappuccino. And let's see. I'm going to try fast food because fast food is one of the best ways to see how expensive the country is. So I'm going to try fast food and see how much it will cost me because I know getting a kebab, let me see, a normal kebab in France is about 
six euro up. So let us see. The kebab I normally eat in France cost me seven euro. With the drink, it cost me eight euro. So let's find out. There is an Indian kebab shop that I, I always patronize because I like the way uh, they prepare the kebab. It is cool because I tried. I'm very sorry for my uh, Lithuanian people. I tried a kebab in Lithuania right in the train station. Damn, damn, that is not a kebab, guys. I don't really want to make video about it because it's not a very good experience, neither for the business, so I just forget about it. But I'm just sharing just a little. That kebab, no, it's not a kebab at all. I went in and said I need a kebab, and I gave him the money. I didn't forget how much I paid. It's not about six euro, five euro. But what comes out, man, it's not a kebab at all, man. I just ended it, you know what I mean. So let's go and look for some kebab and see how much it cost me. What is the minimum salary right here in, L in Riga? Around 300 euros. 300 euros? Yeah. And what kind of job is that? The, the regular job. Regular job? Yep. Like uh, working in the coffee shop or example, in the restaurant? I work in a coffee shop. I yes. have uh, 160 hours per month. It's yes. uh, 40 hours per week. Okay. Uh, and I get only 400 euros. 400 yep. euros? And that's with extra hours. With extra hours, yep, yep. and in the month, how much do you get? Do you 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 get? In the month? Yeah, with this kind of uh, hours. Like uh, four four hundred euros, and maybe like additional twenty as a tea. Twenty euros. So that means four hundred four hundred twenty euros for working one hundred and sixty hours a month. So like that means uh, an hour costs about three euro. Yep. Yep. Wow, and again, the cost of living, buying a coffee is about, uh, like the cappuccino I just drank, yep. uh, uh, is about... Um, 350, the medium size, I guess. Yep. 3 euro, uh, uh, I paid, yes, about 3 euro 40, 40 cents. Yep. So, uh, and how, it's expensive. Yep. Because at the end of the day, you have nothing. They, yep. How much is the cost of uh, the house rent? If also, maybe... Three or four hundred euros. Yes. Three or four hundred yes. euros. And two hundred or two hundred and fifty euros for bills. For bills. Yeah. So, so it's around six hundred euros uh, to rent the flat and uh, to pay the bills. Not if not even in the city center. Yeah, it's yeah, outside. Of course, huh? Yeah. Outside of the center. I cannot be able to pay your house rent you need because to go to the dep. You need to debt. Yep. So if yeah. you are living alone, it's not possible, you know. Yeah, no, it's not possible. Because if you are working one, you are working full-time job, mm -hmm. and you only have less than five hundred euros yep. a month, yep. and your charges for the month is about six hundred euros. Yep. Yep. So it's complicated. Yeah, it's complicated. And things are very expensive. So this is I just chatting with the locals at the same time, <laughs> sharing with you guys the cost of living right here in Riga compared to like France, like. France, the, cost, the minimum salary will be like, if it's too low, it will be 800, 700 euros. That is too low, too low. So, it's okay. <laughs> but also, we, we also have our own disadvantage also. But it's not the same because uh, what kind of apartments uh, do you have to choose? For example, we have to pay around uh, 300 or 400 euros to rent a flat or an apartment, right? Yes. Uh, and it could be a really old apartment without renovation, kitchen and bathroom, uh, like uh, in the shit hole, basically. Yep. For that kind of yep. money? Yep. That kind of house cost you yep. uh, 600, yep. uh, 600 euro for everything? In, in total, yeah. No. For, I think with that 600 in total in France, uh, it's, it's a, it's a big house with a, with a family. That's what I'm saying. At least you will have a room and yep. palo. Even maybe in some places can even have two rooms. And, and with a sitting room. So maybe one room for the husband and wife and the other one for the kids. So I think only rich people can be able to afford to live and pay bills here. Basically, yeah. So that means the only positive thing I found here is maybe the food. Some kind of food, but not all food. Because there is, <laughs> yes, some kind of food. Because there is an Indian um, kebab shop that I yeah. saw there that I, I normally, I tried and I like it. Mm -hmm. It's very delicious. And I think 4 euro 50 
4 euro 30 5 euro is very good you eat very good and that kind of food in france can cost me at least about 8 euros mm. so i think it's some food are okay but some are some not so some prices are unreasonable yeah some prices are reasonable some prices are not so good mm -hmm. so okay thank you very much you have shared a lot with us and the transport system is good okay bye bye so the transport system in the country is less expensive. I took a bus ride here in Riga to a village and the round trip cost me about uh, less than five euro, less than five euro for the round trip. So uh, the transport system is less expensive. So I'm kind of hungry. Let us find out how much a kebab will cost us here in Riga. Because in France, the kebab I normally eat is 8 euro with a drink. Well, let's find out how much it is here. Since my time here in Riga, it is my favorite place. They ask kebab. You can also check him out. You guys are, they are friendly, they are Indian guys. So this is my favorite kebab since I'm right here in Riga. And let me get my favorite kebab here. Yeah. Kebab? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, you are right direct in YouTube, guys. Yeah, yeah I saw your uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you like it? Yeah. Uh, you subscribe? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, I have uh, you forgot? I was at work that time you okay. for the order. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Every country has its playlist, huh? Yeah, yeah. You saw it. Like, for example, you go this way. Playlist. Every country has its playlist. So, I need my donut plate. Yeah. I have like I like your kebab since like this is it is almost the only food I'm eating since I'm right here in in Riga, <laughs> so just uh, the donut like, plate. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like chicken beef mix. Uh, mix. Medium, yeah. So like spicy, all spicy. A little bit spicy because the weather is is uh, cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah a little bit spicy. So we can pay four euros. Four euros. Yeah. Okay. Discount. Discount for me. Yeah. But normally, how much it is? It's five euros. Five euro. You see. Because I've been eating here, so whenever I'm coming around, it's always giving me discount. Thank you, man. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. So this is the man. So whenever you are in Latvia, uh, in Riga, don't hesitate to patronize them. This is the best kebab in town. Uh huh. This is, is the best kebab in yes. town, right? Yes, this is the best one. The biggest meal, the biggest portion, and the be best taste. Yeah, yeah, I have since I tried it. I it like I eat every time I eat here. Me too. Yeah. So. Thank you, Thomas. So we. Uh, so what is the name of your kebab? Has kebab. Has kebab. Yeah. Okay. So patronize them. This is the mean man. So. Thank you. Get all the full package and come and thank me after eating here. Come and comment below and thank me later that Joel, thank you for sharing this place with me. But it is my secret, you know, my secret place. So anyway, bye-bye. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, the kebab cost me five euro, but because the guy, he knew me, so he's a kind guy, so he gave me for four euro. So now this very kebab, I will open it when I get to my hostel because I want to relax and eating it in my hostel. This very kebab, in France, the lowest it will cost me is seven euro. Let me open it, you see. This is how it is. Look at how it is. But here yeah, I have it for five euro and the guy even gave me a discount of one euro so i pay only four euro so it all depends some of the things are even more expensive than france and why some are lesser than france but the the cost of living is more less and compared to people 
working near the Latvians is more expensive for them. So in France, sometimes it's okay. You can be able to survive with it and after you still have some help from the government. So this is the difference between Latvia and France. Of course, there is a very big difference. France is a very big country. For example, the young girls say the house rent is about 600. In France, you can pay the same amount of money and you will get much better apartments. So imagine. So this is what to think about. I am Joel Tamara. If you like my videos, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos. As I take you to every country on head. Until then, have a wonderful and inspiring day. Bye-bye.